Good day, welcome. Today I would like to spend some time on how to plot out graphs. Learners sometimes experience the difficulty in plotting a graph or understanding how to plot a graph to get a particular result. So, without further ado, allow me to. The straight line is given to us, and the information that is given about the straight line is that y is equal to 2x minus 3. I must plot these coordinates now. So, on my Cartesian plane, I've got from 5 to 5, from negative 5 to positive 6, I've got from um, 0 to 6 and from 0 to negative 5. So, basically, I will be plotting the values from this point here onwards. So, minus 1 and negative 5. So, I go to minus 1 and negative 5 and I plot where the two lines meet 0 and minus 3. 0 and minus 3. That's also my y intercept. Where a graph is going to cut the y axis, we know that as the y intercept. Also known as the c value. y is equal to mx plus c. So, next one is 1 and negative 1. 1 and negative 1. The next coordinate is 2 and positive 1. The next coordinate is 3 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis. And when these coordinates are plotted, I will see that it forms a straight line. And I don't have to stop at the last one, I can continue because the line continues indefinitely. In that direction and it continues in that direction. That is the straight line. For this one, I want to plot a simple quadratic function, y is equal to x squared. So if I substitute negative 3 and I square it, I will get 9. If I substitute negative 2 and I square it, I will get 4. If I substitute negative 1, squared will give me 1. And it's important that I understand when I substitute negative 1, it's in brackets, and then if I square it, I will get negative 1 multiplied with negative 1. That will give me positive 1. Please understand that. So, if I plot these values, I only have values up to negative 5, negative 5, positive 6, positive 6. So, I will basically plot from this point onwards. So, at negative 2, my corresponding y value is 4. At negative 1, my corresponding x value is 1. At 0, x0, zero, now y is 0, x1, y is 1, x2, y is positive 4, and x3, y will be 9, but I cannot plot that. And in this instance, I will see I've got a curved graph. How do I plot, draw this graph? I draw one smooth, continuous curve. And I continue to all the points, and that graph will continue in that direction, and it will continue in that direction. So there is my quadratic function. Right, so we've looked at the quadratic graph, and we saw that x, y is equal to x squared takes that form. I want to do with you the shifts of those graphs, and I say, what would that graph have looked at like if that very graph was y is equal to x squared minus 1. So that means every answer I get will be one less than the previous answer. So let's take our graph, which was there. So if everything is going to be one less, then that graph is just going to shift to its new position. And I will see that everything is one less than the previous answer. And if I compare them, they are, the graph is still looking exactly the same. The shape did not change. It remains a quadratic function. Just all my answers is one less than the previous answer. So if we look at the next one, we've got y is equal to x squared, the original function, minus 2. So that means every answer will be 2 less. I don't have to calculate my calculator. I don't have to calculate it. And I take my graph, 
There is no drop on the red one, so two reds and that one will take me to be there. So the shape is still the same. The only difference is all my answers is two less than the original function. And you say what will happen to this original function if I say y is equal to x squared plus 1. Correct. The graph will shift up. One. All the values will be one more than the original value. So there's my different graphs, nothing to it. If I plot any of those coordinates and I will show you by doing the one y is equal to x squared minus 1, then do some plotting quickly. We don't have it on the graph, but we have positive 3. So negative 2, we go to positive 3. 1, 2, 3. There we go. At 1, it must be 0. So I go to 1, it is 0. If I go to negative 1, it must be 0, times that 1. At 0, it must be negative 1. At 0 on the x-axis, it must be negative 1. Wow, we've got this. all the answers is exactly where we see it would be. So let's briefly look at the hyperbola. If I'm given the hyperbola is the function y is equal to 2 over x. And I select my x values as minus 8, minus 6, minus 4. I take multiples of 2. It's easy to get to the answer. So now I'm going to plot these coordinates. So at negative, and I don't have negative 6 here, so I'll start at negative 4. At negative 4, my result must be negative 4. So it's halfway between um, 0 and 1. Then at negative 2, I have negative 1. So I can't see so nicely, so I'm going to make that just a little bit brighter. So I have that coordinate, that coordinate. Then at zero, I'll have an asymptote. So let's just draw an asymptote over there. And we change that line format to a asymptote. Like that asymptote, so that, that point will be an asymptote. So what is an asymptote? An asymptote is a line that the graph don't touch, don't touch my asymptote. Don't touch my asymptote. Right. So the graph will have more or less that effect. Then when I go on the other side, I'll have at 2, my answer will be 1. At 4, my answer would be a half. Sorry, that's a place there. At 4, my answer would be a half. At 6, my answer would be a third. So this graph will take the trajectory of some to that. So, that is my hyperbola. Nothing to the plotting now to get the graph. Let's quickly look at the exponential function. The exponential function depicted as y is equal to a times b to the power of x plus b plus q. That's the full extent of it, but for the sake of plotting uh, the coordinates, I want to use a simplistic one. y is equal to 2, x, 2 to the power of x. So 2 to the power of negative 3 will be 1 over 2 to the power of 3, which will give me 1 over 8. To the power of negative 2 will give me a coordinate, to the power of negative 1 will give me 2. And we can plot these coordinates now as an 8. At negative 3, it must be an 8. At negative uh, 2, it must be a quarter. So it's a half of half. And then at 1, it will be um, negative 1, it will be a half. At 0, it will be 1. At 1, it will be 2. At 2, it will be 4. And so it will continue to be 8. And we connect these dots and then we can read the graph as it doesn't touch the x axis. And this graph continues to grow exponentially. That is how we plot and draw a graph. Um, I trust that this video will help you in standing with it. So I want to say thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, tell your friends. If you loved it, tell everyone 
Um, hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.